presumably keep her sober, you know, for those 30 days. But I think that if she is allowed to be released and go do the AA meetings, that it's going to have more benefit for her in the long term. Um, hopefully within the time that she's got left on probation, which is, I believe is like maybe three months left, um, that she can find a sponsor and we won't have to be here in court again. So I think that's going to be more beneficial for her. Well, the problem is she's only got two months left, which means that it's hard for me to monitor any progress that she would make. Now I can send and give her 30 days and she will definitely dry out. because this is her second one. And I know I gave her the speech the first time. Raise your right hand for me. You solemnly swear or affirm any testimony you give in this matter will be true. Yes, ma'am. All right, you can put your hand down. Ms. Adams, you're before the court on a revocation of probation, State of Georgia versus Lakia Unique Adams, 2021 CR. 05338. You were before this court for driving under the influence on the 16th day of August 2023. You were sentenced to 12 months probation. You have two months and 18 days remaining. Um, this is your second hearing and you failed to avoid injurious and vicious habits. You tested positive for the uh, metabolites of alcohol on April 11th, 2024. Um, you're represented by Ms. Hahn. And she has indicated that you wish to stipulate and agree to the probation recommendations. Um, Ms. Hahn, um, what's going on with your client? Your Honor, um, I, oh, no, I'm, it's not me. Um, your Honor, I briefly spoke with Ms. Adams. Um, we attempted to have a conversation about, you know, what could potentially cause the positive test. Um, I guess without getting into that, I'm not, I'm not, she didn't specifically give a, um, a direct answer as to what may have caused it. However, um, she has been in custody for, I think it's 12 days at this point. Um, she's asking to be released um, back to probation. She's let me know that she can be committed to finishing it. Um, and at the very least, if the conditions do stay the same, um, or if you're, if the court is agreeable to allow her to be released back to probation, she's she would be willing to do AA meetings. Miss Adams, how old are you, ma'am? Twenty-six. What's going on that um, alcohol has you like this? I necessarily wouldn't say it had me um, this way. Um, like I said, I, I wouldn't be able to actually pinpoint and say what it is. Um, I've been, um, not just to say I've been told it's been different things, but um, I do believe that it was maybe something that was consumed. This was not on purpose, no ma'am. Um, <clears throat> well, what would you have consumed that contained alcohol that you wouldn't be aware of? Um, I do know that sometimes it's in pasta. Um, I know there's like... Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. When y'all come at me with the vodka uh, sauce on the pasta, what y'all don't understand is basic science. When you cook with alcohol, the heat dissipates the alcohol. You may be left with the flavor of it, but you're not left with the... Di it's a distillate. And so the alcohol burns off. You may be left with what is a flavor but the alcohol and the potent part of the alcohol, the part that gets you drunk is gone. So whenever somebody tells me that foolishness, it tells me they didn't pay attention in science. So don't try that one on somebody who actually paid attention in high school science, because that's high school science. You got me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now, now that we finished blowing smoke at each other, let me just say that whatever is causing you to drink is not going to stop causing you to drink until you make a concerted effort to change whatever it is that's bothering you enough to make you an alcoholic at this age. And yes, ma'am, you're an alcoholic. The fact that you came at me with the uh, vodka pasta story uh, tells me you don't want to acknowledge it, but you are. This is your second hearing. You've had a DUI before me. 
um, and you understand clearly, because this is your second hearing, wh who I am and how I feel about messing up on probation um, and what got you here. And so, yes, ma'am, you'll be doing AA meetings because you need them, not just because you messed up, but because you are an alcoholic. Now, whether you wish to acknowledge it or not, let me point out some things. You've been in jail for 12 days for drinking, correct? Yes, ma'am. Any sane person would avoid drinking to avoid going to jail. Any say, any person who was not um, so involved in alcohol and that alcohol didn't have such a hold on them, they would do anything to avoid going to the Clayton County Jail. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. But you drank knowing that if I caught you, you were going to jail. You got that, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you have children? No, ma'am. Okay, good. Um, so, ma'am, I'm not sure what it is. You know, I don't know, but it's some trauma or some grief that's bothering you to the point where you're taking refuge in alcohol. Is any of what I'm saying correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I can usually spot it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, whatever the recommendation is from probation, and it probably already includes this because Ms. Chang knows me, we've been working together for a long time, um, but it's going to include AA meetings, at least one AA meeting a week. So Ms. Chang, what is your recommendation, ma'am? Your Honor, our, our original um, recommendation was that 30 days be revoked and close the case. However, um, it's, you know, if she's returned to probation with AA, um, that that's fine and continue to drug screen every report. This is, she was already drug screening at each report, right? Yes. All right. So Ms. Uh, Adams, what that tells me, whenever Ms. Chang recommends 30 days and close the case, she's tired of you. You've she already has... been before her. You've already messed up. She's already testing you every time. So you know that you're being tested every time. So alcohol has you to the point where you're willing to risk it, even though you know every time you report, they're going to test you. And so what she's saying is, just go ahead and finish out the 30 days. Your Honor. You got me? Yes, ma'am. We're asking that she be released. I think, you know, closing out the 30 days would obviously keep her, assumably, keep her sober, you know, for those 30 days. But I think that if she is allowed to be released and go do the AA meetings, that it's going to have more benefit for her in the long term. Um, hopefully within the time that she's got left on probation, which is, I believe it's like maybe three months left, um, that she can find a sponsor and we won't have to be here in court again. So I think that's going to be more beneficial for her. Well, the problem is she's only got two months left, which means that it's hard for me to monitor any progress that she would make. Now, I can send and give her 30 days and she will definitely dry out. Because this is her second one. And I know I gave her the speech the first time. But she, then she came at me with the vodka, vodka pasta story. Which, that's just insulting my intelligence. I could watch TV and figure that one out. Your Your Honor. Um... But again, she is just asking to be released. I mean, I think even if even in one AA meeting, her meeting people who have who have the sim same struggles as her is probably going and, and having to show proof that she did it. Because if she just stays in jail, there's no there's Miss no Chang, I didn't order AA last time. Your Honor, she tested positive last time for THC for marijuana. Oh. It was an alcohol. Oh, so she just oh, she just doing everything. Yeah. This um you need AA, but you need 30 days more. 
All right. So 30 days and close the case. Um, and Miss Adams, if you're serious about getting straight, you'll see AA or NA after you get out. But if you're not serious, you're going to see me again because you go. You, let me just be clear. Any misdemeanor you commit in the, in the uh, county of Clayton, you will see my pretty face. Yes, ma'am. So it, be mindful that you might want to seek out some help for yourself by going to AA meetings voluntarily um, and trying to get yourself back on track before you see me. Do you have a job, Ms. Adams? Yes, ma'am. What do you do? Um, customer service. Okay. All right. You do that from home? No, ma'am. With the public. You have to go, you have to drive to get to it? Yes, ma'am. Because, you know, you do, does she have a permit? Mm -hmm. She's got her license back, Your Honor. It's been reinstated. Okay. Rem um, please remember that if you um, get another DUI, it's going to be a lot more expensive. You're actually going to spend jail time on the initial sentence, and you're going to lose your license again. You understand? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm going to follow Miss Chang's recommendation because this is the second time up. And has she realized that um, she was going to come back to me, then she wouldn't have done it, maybe. Understood, Your Honor. So 30 days and we'll close the case. But please be mindful that if you are serious about getting uh, getting clear, um, then you need to go to AA meetings on your own, which you can do. You got me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, but you need to get yourself straight because you're too young to let alcohol ruin your life. And it's not really alcohol and drugs that's ruined your life. It's the grief or the trauma that you suffered um, that you're trying to run away from that you're letting ruin your life. So if I, I would advise you to seek out some counseling, okay? Even if it's going to a grief support group that's free at a church, when you get to AA meetings, unburden yourself and share with them what is causing you to have the difficulties that you have. Because I promise you, there's probably gonna be four people in the meeting who have similar issues and are working their way through it also. But, but I'm going to tell you right now, Ms. Adams, I strongly, I am so, so, so sure that if you don't get yourself some help, you're going to kill somebody or you're going to kill yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Also, ma'am, please be mindful that I'm probably one of the more lenient judges because I try to help people get back on track as opposed to just jailing them. But a county south of us, they give six months to serve off the bat. You get a DUI in that county, it's six months to serve. But this will be your second in five if you get one, and he's going to give you at least a year. Trust me. Counties all around us, they give serious jail time. I had, I was sitting in a conference and the judge around me, they said, what do you do if somebody um, comes on a, a, a revocation on a DUI? And that judge didn't even breathe hard and said, I give them six months to serve on a revocation. So I'm going to give you a chance to get your life straight. Other judges are going to give you 60 days, 60, six months to get your life straight. You understand? So even if you think you don't want to come back to me, Think about it. You do for almost any judge in the state of Georgia. I know all of them who do DUIs. They are, they're going to give you six months off the bat to serve. So you would probably go do better going to AA and getting yourself some counseling um, and trying to get a little bit better than um, being out here ignoring what I'm telling you. OK. And your honor, is she free to go back? Yep. 
Um, defendant shall serve 30 days uh, credit since date of lockup. And after service of 30 days in the Clayton County Jail, the case is closed. Your Honor. Yep. Rich of County. Ms. Adams is asking if you could reconsider and allow her to report to AA. Nope. Because I this is her second time at using substances and I know the speech that I give her. So this is going to be a test of whether Miss Adams really wants to get clean. If she really wants to get clean, she's going to go to AA as soon as she gets out of jail. She just wants to stay out of jail. This isn't about staying clean. I'm clear. If she really wanted to be clean, then you know, she would have gone to AA on her own after she got that THC or she would have talked to Miss um, Chang about it. Uh, how can I help myself, Miss Chang? Uh, can you request counseling from the judge or anything? But no, she she tried it and she failed. You rolled the dice and you came up snake eyes. So 30 days, let's see if we can dry you out. Let's see if you can have you think about the way you want to live your life from now on. And then from that point on, if you want AA, you seek it. 